Hello everyone, we're back with a second video today, um, if you watched the collection showcase video before this one, no, mail day, uh, just to clear up, um, the two young guns I got from Dave was actually from the local card store, so, and I got the Henry from him in a previous video, I just realized this, so I do apologize for that in the previous video, I'm getting old, time to retire, but, if since you know we all you all clicked on it, we're here for the 1819 trilogy box break. Got this from my obviously local card store. There was two boxes left. I had my buddy pick out one of the two, so you know I think he picked out the bottom one. I think so. Either or. Actually, before we start, I am going to slide the garbage can over here, so you know we have a spot for the packs. All right. So we have SP Game Use Advertisement, National Hockey Card Day, and of course, Series 2 Advertising. Alright, so we we'll open the box like normal box open. Hmm. Oh. Those blockers there. I guess we'll start on the right side. We always seem to run the right. start on the right side. We will save the hit for last though. So pack one. First up, we have a base of Taylor Hall. Very nice looking base cards. These are the back of them this year. Can't wrong with that. For the San Jose Sharks, we have Eric Carlson. Our first hit is for the Toronto Maple Leafs. We have a blue base parallel out of Saturday Night of Austin Matthews. I know some people that might want that card too. Blocker. And we have a Jake Gunsil. All right, second pack, right side. Ugh, anything here yet? Doesn't look to be a hit, so that's good. Again, I think we're guaranteed two base, two blue base parallels and one red. Looks like we have a true rookie here. Yep, level one runner. First up, we have a Brock Bozer. Mitch Marner. And our rookie, our 999, is of Ryan Donato. For the Boston Bruins. He's actually kind of resurged his career after the trade of Minnesota. He goes off Connor Hellebuck. Third pack. Doesn't give me nothing yet, which is good. Uh, we have one of the retros. Ooh, it's... We're going to save this for last. We just hit a retro auto, and I think I know who it is. It's not my guy, but it is actually of a good player, I believe. We hit a jersey, so we'll save that pack for after. So we did hit a retro auto, and those are rare, so that's pretty cool. All right, so first pack... Left side, since the last two packs on the right side are hivots. Maybe it's a bonus at two. So first up, we have Riley Smith. We do have a red parallel here, Patrick Kane. And Patrick Kane on 425, red parallel. These look nice, actually, not going to lie. I would love to get a Kopitar one, but clearly not today. And our last commons of Alex Ovechkin. Sound like a winner. Next pack actually is another hit by the looks of it so pack number three again you always gotta save the hits for last when it comes to this stuff you know those of anticipation we did get my copa dark common we do have our blue parallel weird way they put the pack two and two weird anyways we have jamie ben we have an alex ovesh you know 799 blue base parallel blocker then brad marchand and Unze Kopitar for the collection, so that's good. Last pack, left side. Alright. Alright, so we have Ryan Nugent Hopkins. We have a Riley Smith, that was 799. Weird one rookie, three blue base parallels, that's weird. We also have Ryan Gitzlaff. Steven Stamkos. Hmm. Alright, so which pack should we do first? I will finish the right side first with this back. Mm 
All right, so first up, Ryan Suter. We have a Phil Kessel. And our hit jersey card is of Matthew Barzell out of 170 for the New York Islanders for 170 shots. I don't know if that was just for last year or what. I don't know how they do it. Nice orange piece, you know. Very good player. So, you know, can't argue with that. All right. Pack. Next pack. We have a Camp Atkinson Common. Max Domi Common. And our hit. Another jersey. For the Toronto Maple Leafs at a 499 of Travis Dermont. Not bad. My second jersey of him. This could probably be for, you know, a Leaf fan I know. Or a couple of them. Whoever gets it first. Obviously, event worn. But alright. So, I have not seen the logo on the autograph. I've seen the legs. And it's one of two players. I think it's either going to be Andrei Sveshnikov or Brady the Chuck. So, either or. Both of them good autos. But before that, we'll do the two back base cards. Johnny Gaudreau and Mike Hoffman. All right, and who do we have? Is Sveshnikov or Tachuk? It is Brady Tachuk, who I was leading to because of the pants. Not bad. That's out of 99. So, nice Brady Tachuk autograph there. Retro, the 0506 retro cards, too. Very nice card. Very nice hit. My first to Chuck Auto. Actually, my first to Chuck of between the two of them. Unfortunately, you can tell the sticker's not on right. It's hard to tell, but picture of it will be better. It's a bit crooked. But yeah. There we go. If only that was Kakanyemi. That'd be amazing. So, I'm happy with that. Out of 99... Retro parallel. But that's all for now. Thank you guys for watching the video. And I will see you guys next time. But again, be sure. Hopefully later this month. We will have a case break live stream on my channel. Depending on when the James Bond stuff comes out. And again, uh, my U my other YouTube series should be starting late this month too. I just got to wait for the last thing to be shipped to me for it. To start it. So uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy that. But again, you know, like the comment. You know, I mean, like the video, not the comment. Comment if you want to, I guess. And I will see you guys next time for sure. Take care.